this is this is a fascinating subject. Uh, I'm excited just to talk about this, and I'll try and keep it brief. You know the Pink Floyd pyramid, the prism, and the light comes through and the rainbow comes out the other side. I'll put a, an image on screen. That ba Now, I don't know what they are, why they chose that image or what it means for them. I don't know anything about them or about that image, but that reminds me of... So we are awareness, we are beingness, and we're looking through this body, mind, whatever you want to call it, ego, mind, body, mind, we're looking through. So as we look through, mind generates the human experience. It's mind that's generating this. Uh, in my last few newsletters, a few times I've said, I've said, you know, this is life changing, like mind can't feel that changed, changed the course of my life, the direction of my life. And over the last few newsletters, I've said that, you know, oh, this changed my life. This could change your life. So now it's starting to sound a bit like fucking repetitive. But it's so true. The, the realization of some of these things, and I mean that as uh, an energetic, as a verb, as a an actualization, as an energetic change, oh, like the train changes fucking direction, carves a new path, burned into us, the DNA, the, everything changes as we realize these things. Prior to that, it's just a theory. It's just a philosophy. It's something you learn and you regurgitate. Oh, yeah, the mind creates reality. Okay, okay, okay. So also just to say that the likes of these things, I work on sometimes for hours a day and I'll write down the same things. I'll have a thought and I'll write down and I'll negate and I'll see how untrue that thought is again and again and again and again and again for days, for months. And it breaks down the identity and the identification with mind. We're not mind. We're the thing. We're the light shining through mind, being broken up by the prism, by the mind, which is splaying out these colors or this human experience. So, I really think that it's important, you know, that if you listen to any of my videos or you read an article or something, if you feel or with anyone else, you know, that you listen to or read, if if something resonates with you, like, holy shit, like that's a that's a fucking I can feel it at the energy in me now, like that's a potentially that will completely change your life if you allow it to. It's fucking great. And if you read, listen to it in a video you haven't paid any money. You haven't fucking signed up for a course. You haven't had to get on a plane and go to some fucking retreat some, somewhere with some bullshit guru. You know, you've got it for free handed. Woo, there it is. And you and you feel a little resonance. For me, when that happens, I have notes of the time of the video, the section of the post that I read or the, the page of the book. It's highlighted. There's notes in the margin. I'm going over that again and again and again. I burn that shit into me until there is no more resonance, until it becomes realized. So if you're watching this and you hear something that you feel changes you, well, I'm not going to repeat myself. I would deeply encourage you. I mean, if, if you feel you're looking for further growth, that's my experience to burn in and carve that new path, allow the being like we're so asleep and lazy that we watch the video or we read the book and cover to cover and you put the book away and go, yeah, I didn't really learn anything like that's asleep. That's why the human race is asleep, totally unaware not even paying attention like to, to the fucking people writing, you know, Eckhart Tolle or people writing these incredible books or making videos of their experience that took decades or lifetimes to get to. And we now have it on our smartphone. You watch it in three minutes. You, oh, yeah. Don't think I learned that. Don't like him. Oh, it's unbelievable. Like 
the seeker out there seeking. And we have access to the greatest teachings in seconds. And it's so easy to get to. We don't any pay don't pay any attention to it anymore. You know, pearls before swine. Uh, if you read about the Egyptians and the mystery schools and the priests and priestesses, they turn people away because you're not ready. It's not looking for the great teaching. Most people can most people have access to the great teachings these days. They're just too fucking asleep. They're too, to be blunt, they're too dumb. You know, and I, I've passed out at times to people I've worked with or have inquired uh, things that have deeply changed my life and I can see in them would deeply change theirs, but they're, they don't pay any attention to it. <laughs> so we're looking through the prism and if if you can see this, if you can get this, it's a fucking huge game changer. You know, in my newsletter, I've put out a few times lately, these genuinely hand on heart. Some of the things I've talked about, they've deeply changed me. Stuff that you can't buy, you know, that a guru or a book or a fucking, you know, expensive course just can't give you things. And I put them in a newsletter for fucking free. So change me. So our awareness, the thing that we are is looking through mind. It's looking through that filter, filter, that prism looks out at the world. So a sensation or a frequency passes through the supposed human body, passes through this form. And in the fraction of a second, the human mind builds a story. And it might throw three or four or five or six or seven stories at us. Person we hate, person we love. Am I working tomorrow? Uh, is that client going to call? What's going to happen? What's the traffic going to be like? And we pick one. Mind believes one of them. Oh yeah, traffic's going to be really bad. I hope my car starts. And, uh, and we go, we're on that journey now. We're on the journey of the story that's been presented by the prism, by the mind, which we are not. We're the thing looking through the mind. We're now going on the story. We're believing the story. This is the human experience. We're believing a story. We're sitting here, maybe eating dinner, watching television or with our family, believing a story about tomorrow that may never happen, may never happen. And that story could go on for hours or days, you know, or weeks about this person or this car or whatever it is, fantasy. He said this, he, she said, oh my God, my parents never loved me. Oh my God, all this stuff, fantasy. That's the prism. It's not real. It's all just fantasy. And so you'll notice the times that you'll notice there's a noisy ship going past with a load of tourists on it. You'll notice the times that Let's say you're around someone or you're in circumstances that really challenge or trigger you, you know, friends, family, whatever it may be, a work situation, charge of energy, frequency comes through you, boom, that story is fucking concrete, totally believable until it's not an hour or two hours later, the next day you look back, if you have the wisdom and, and insight to look back and go, holy shit, that story was wrong, <laughs> it's bullshit. But most people don't do that. You know, it's a tiny percentage that can actually check themselves, look back and go, fuck, I believed that story. I believed that film that was projected by the projector, by the mind, by the prism that wasn't real. That's the human experience. And if you get to this point, you get an opportunity to realize the verb, the experience, to realize, ah, it's all a projection. So now you have a choice. I'm going to go with the projection and I'm going to fall in love or, I don't know, scream at the person in traffic who beeped their horn or cut me off in traffic or shout at my boss or whatever it is and blame this person. And that's why some of us blame our parents for decades or whoever. We find a mind presents a prayer. Oh, he did this, she did that. Fucking 40 years later. Oh my God, they did this. They, they, I fucking hate these people. Oh. <laughs> years later, still carrying that story, churning it out. And we're all doing that in big and large situations and with people. But the awakening or the perspective, as that expands and you start to realize, ah, it's the fucking prism. It's the mind. It's the projector. You then have the opportunity of oneness. 
you can see the story. There's less, it's less and less sticky. There's less and less intensity or t attachment. Even if there's a bolt of frequency passing through, more and more we know and we see, ah, oh, the story, it's a fucking story. It's not real. But most of the planet, 99.99999% of people love the stories. As I've said before, that's why Shakespeare is so popular. People love television. They love drama. They love excitement. They love celebrity. Oh, there's a drama. Now. Who's sleeping with who? Who hates who? Politics, the war. Oh, my God. The jib, the jab. Oh, my God. And the flu. Oh, my God. They love. So if you remove these things, they'll find someone to hate, find someone to argue with, find someone to fucking <laughs> beat their horn at, you know, or fall in love with, you know, or gossip about chemicals, drama. Oh, that cycle. Nothing wrong with it. That's the human experience until we begin to get complete with it and realize something in us knows, oh, I've done this a hundred times before. Well, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and then we start to go, okay, where's it coming from? And we have a little insight. Oh, it's the fucking projector. It's the prism. It's the movie. It's not real. And as you look back at this thing, at this projector more and more, you realize, ah, None of it's real. You can hold up your hand. And if you've been in the Sundays or worked with me, you can negate that. This is my hand. In three minutes, I could. Ne it, it's not my hand. That statement is not true. Anything that comes out of the projector is none of it is true. It can all be broken down and negated. And I know your minds at times will have huge battle with the No, no, I can't be. No, that is my hand. I'm convinced of it. <laughs> Until. Something inside goes, something, some resonance with that. Maybe it's not my hand. And then you're at the fucking door to a new world, to a new perception, to leaving the drama, leaving the chemicals and leaving the prism and leaving the movie and all that excitement and chaos to step back and see reality. Mind cannot see reality. It's a prism. It creates the story and the drama. It can't experience, mind can't feel, it can't experience reality, being. So I'll finish on this. You're the being and you can have direct experience of the senses or as we do, we live through the mind. So we go to the mind and the mind tells us, love that person, hate that person, uh, emotions, sensations, whatever, blah, 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 blah. or stories, stories about the thing, stories about the hand, rather than direct experience. And awakening is moving away from the mind to have direct experience. I could talk about this for hours. Thanks for listening to me. Uh, Zoom will be back. <laughs> Come and join us. Be well.